guys, this is Angel with Catskin, and you're watching The Inside Job. Each episode will get you up close and personal with some of the best automotive builders in the industry who all use genuine Catskin leather. So buckle up and let's go. We're at the 2009 SEMA show and today we're going to be speaking with Bill O'Gorman with Drop Top Customs and he's going to tell us about this awesome build. Hey Bill. Well hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I wanted to introduce you to this project that we put together. It's a 2009 Dodge Challenger convertible. And of course, Dodge doesn't make a convertible. Right. So we took a 2009 Challenger RT and we sent it to Florida for Drop Top Customs. Drop Top Customs not only removed the top, but they made it completely functional. It's a beautiful cloth top, and it has a glass window. And one of the things that's really interesting is that Chrysler did not make this window so it's functional. The, functional, the functionality of the window has been placed on this car. The car itself was, was created as a build for my brother. He was injured on a motorcycle accident. We put this together as therapy, and as people found out about it, Catskin's leather, the chip foos wheels, the graphics, it started to come together and everybody said it needs to go to SEMA. This is a car that everybody needs to see. So when the guys from Drop Top Customs got the car, they turned it into a convertible. Catskin's leather came on board with an absolutely stunning leather interior. And the two-tone blue absolutely brings out the exterior of the car. And a lot of people are surprised this is a deep water blue and it's a Chrysler paint job. This is the paint job that this car left the factory with. And you also look over to the inside, you're going to see a Hearst Corporation shifter. And that's one of the early ones that came right off the line specifically to get into this car to be in here for SEMA. There's a company called Craft Originators, which is an, an OEM company that makes the logos for a lot of the GM and Ford and uh, the Chrysler Corporation vehicles. And we had them design and make for us a custom logo that we're using on the dash and the fenders, as well as the front grill. We went to a lot of original suppliers to try to put together a car that would look factory. Classic design concepts brought to us a shaker hood system for this car, which that's where we get our project N96 back in 1969 or 70, 71. That was the coat you would check when you ordered your cars and you wanted that air shaker on the hood. We put a Hotchkiss suspension kit in the car, which brought the car down, gave us a really nice handling and a good feel. We call the car Project N96 Drop Top Revenge. Last year at the SEMA show, Drop Top Customs introduced the Challenger concept convertible that they did for Chrysler. While that car did not make it into production, and we're really not sure what happened to it. The wheels did show up back at the shop. And so the folks down there saved the wheels, and when we went down there to do this car, they asked if we would put those wheels on this car. That car was called Drop Top, and now this is its revenge. That car lives through this car. So you've got the Hotchkiss suspension, the early edition Foos Challenger wheels with the Nitto brand tires, and one of the things you really want on a nice old school muscle car is real hood pins. And these hood pins were provided to us by a company called hoodpins.com. Oh, very simple. You know, and it really is a nice original piece and it does what it's supposed to do. And then Advanced Automotive Concepts, they came to us and they brought us the lighting system that you see in this car which is absolutely gorgeous. It kind of brings that revenge right out. You can see the spirit. It's looking at you. Yes, the spirit of the original car yeah. still lives. The uh, Dodge logo has been reborn in the color of that snakeskin paint that was on the original drop top. Kind of a uh, promise that it's still around. Can we check under the hood? Of course.
Oh, this is cool. There's a lot there's a lot of nice aftermarket hoods out there. We chose to stay with the factory hood. And part of the reason is it's an all-aluminum hood. It's a lighter hood. It's designed for better airflow. And while there's some really great options out there style-wise, this brought together the whole factory OEM appearance, what we were looking for in the car. We went to a company called Web Electric Products, and they supplied us with the sequential taillight system, which is a nice piece. You find this on the muscle cars of the late 60s, early 70s. It's a blinker system so that it gives direction to what you're going at. You take a left turn or a right turn, and the lights will sequence. It'll blink in that direction. So the people behind you kind of get a light show, so to speak, and it's a nice old school touch. There are a lot of very nice, clean factory things that were done on this car. The lines really lend itself very nicely to the old look. The fuel filler door, this is a Chrysler factory piece. It came on the car new, we left it there. We really didn't need anything special to be done. But we did want to bring out the color of the original drop top, and we did want to get our logo on the side of the car, so Ryder Graphics brought to us a design for this. It was painted and then the applique was placed over it and that's how we come up with our logo for Drop Top Revenge on the paint. Alright Bill, thank you for showing us this awesome car. Well, Angel, thank you for coming by and interviewing us and helping us present Drop Top Revenge to the, uh, the entire viewing audience. You know, we're very pleased to have done this car. I want to thank Catskins. Uh, they provided a terrific interior for this car. It helped really restyle the entire look for not a lot of money. The seats, they went together really nice. You know, Hoodpins.com, uh, Auto Originators, the Autocraft Originators, what they did for the logos, um, the Foose wheels, the Nitto tires, Hurst for the shifter. Um, a lot of people really went out and helped put this car together and we owe them a big thank you. And we thank you for coming by. Oh, thank you. Well, thanks. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this baby out for a ride. I'll bring it back next week. All right. We'll see you then. <laughs> this is Angel, and I got you covered.